hello everyone and welcome to the channel in this video i am going to show you an ai tool on windows i know that some of you always ask me that why don't i create a video based on windows the problem is that um, there are not many tools which are available for windows plus the thing is that most of the tooling like pytorch numpy and then python and a lot of other tools they work best on linux flavors or on the mac but the problem on windows is that you have so many prerequisites like visual studio um, c sharp c plus plus a lot of registry shuffling and the speed is not that good to be honest so windows is great i use uh, windows a lot when i'm using lm studio or any graphical tool but other than that i think the reason why i am more linux oriented is that most of the tooling which is being created by the community is based on linux so that is the reason but i just found out this tool which is max's ai studio it's a windows based open source tool and built in c sharp i believe this is simply a chat interface for closed source and open source models when we say closed source you can see that the list is in front of you includes OpenAI, Claude, Gemini from Google, Grok, and if you are talking about local ones, then we have Olama. Olama is one of the easiest and quickest tool to install these large language models locally in quantized format. So in this video, we are going to install Olama on Windows first, and then we are going to install this Maxis A Studio, and then we will see how this works. So let's get started. I don't have Olama already here, so I'm on Olama's website which is olama.com let's click on download we are looking for windows so i'm just clicking on download for windows it is still in preview for the last various months hopefully it will be in um, broad and general availability very soon and you can see at the top right that my Olama setups exe is being downloaded let's open the file and then click on install here let's wait for it to finish shouldn't take too long and by the way um, i'm using one gpu card on this system the um, gpu card vram is around 24 gig if i remember correctly olama is almost done and you can see at the bottom right that olama is running and then you can just simply click here and then access it or on the bottom left you could just simply access your command prompt and then maybe simply type olama list let me try to make it a bit bigger properties and i'm just going to select the bold fonts and this hopefully looks better now so you see olama list doesn't show me anything let's pull a model i'm just going to call it get Lama 3.1 it is downloading it let's wait for it to finish and then it is going to verify the checksum of the model it's a quantized version of Lama 3.1 so size is only 4.7 gig model is downloaded let me clear the screen and if you do Lama list now you should see that your Lama 3.1 is all downloaded and running locally. Now go back to the GitHub repo of this Maxis AI Studio and I will drop the link to it in video's description. Let's download this software. For that, just click on release, release on their GitHub repo. Maybe click on latest and then scroll down. You will see there are a few assets here. I'm just going to download this um, Maxis AI Studio. Let's click on this and it is being downloaded at the top right. All done. Let's go to that directory and it's a zip file. So I'm just going to extract it here. Let's wait for it. So it is or so you, there you go. So you see it is extracted. Just click on this exe file, Maxis AI Studio, more info and then run anyway. Let's wait for it to load. And there you go, it is loading Max's AI Studio. So Max's Studio is loaded. I have made the theme of my browser a bit darker so that 
you'd be able to see it i couldn't find anything to increase the font on this studio but anyway so in the settings form you can see that there are a lot of models specified um, gpt 4o is selected at the moment and they have also given some of the pricing but we want to use the local one so i'm just going to click on this llama 3.18 billion which we have already downloaded and it is running on our local host at this port and then there are various other models you can see from anthropic from a lot of other models and there is also a mock endpoint if you're interested and these are some of the defaults as what is being used for what and then i'm just going to click ok here and then it is it has loaded this max ai studio let me make it bigger be much better here and this is your usual chat interface where the, at the top you have system prompt you can say that you are a helpful assistant or whatever you like and then you can see that our uh, local models are already selected here which we selected from there and then um, the interesting bit is that it specifies a main model and also a secondary model so um, the main model is used for normal chat which we will be using and then the secondary ai is used for everything else except uh, embedding so i think we'll be just fine with our main primary model so you can ask it any question here so i just ask it what is happiness and you can see that it has responded to me by defining the happiness types of happiness and all that stuff and it has uses it has used our local model also look at this diagram thing which they were mentioning earlier there's a conversation start what is happiness and then they have sort of created a graph of it you can uh, use if you are using image model you can attach your images or stuff from here if you want to talk with it you can add voice from here your uh, whatever you want to use but for that you would need to download whisper model from openai and then you can change the theme from here there are a lot of themes i'm not going to select any other but i think this one is more than enough then um, if you click on tools here you can change you can do hello world find and replace and a lot of stuff um, which you can do with it so all in all really good stuff uh, it's always good to see that there are some options available on windows for me i think i will stick with lm studio at the moment uh, but it's always good to have more choice and also you see that there is embedding if you want to do that which is quite good and the tool is very very new so i think this is going to evolve more and hopefully it will be as good as lm studio very soon and we should be able to play around with it but for me the great thing is that very easy to integrate it with olama and then with various other api based models let me know what do you think i will drop the link to it in video description if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching